Dylan Black, Alterna Savings Crack Up Comedy Festival is coming and it's happening March 20th to 23rd. With all the details, we say hello to John Helmke. He joins us uh, one more time here on Daytime Alternate Crack Up Comedy Festival. Man, how you doing? I'm doing great, Dylan. How are you doing? Good. Good to have you here. Margot Beek is here as well with Home Instead Ottawa. Uh, tell us a bit about Home Instead. So Home Instead has been in Ottawa for 15 years now. Mm -hmm. uh, we do in-home care and we cover from Orleans all the way to almost Armprior um, up to Canada and have over 100 caregivers mm. uh, going to people's homes. Very important service, and I know yeah. you were part of this festival. We'll talk about why coming up in a moment, but sure. let's get to this festival, John. Yeah. It's been around for some time at this point. So, yeah, this is our 16th year here in Ottawa, right? Good. When we first set out to uh, eliminate this uh, idea that Ottawa is the town that fun forgot. And so we started the festival because we never had one. Yeah. You know? So we began 16 years ago. Uh, you know, we're now back. You know, this year for our 16th uh, presentation with the uh, at Algonquin College. Uh, mm -hmm. All of our venues, our events are there. We have a number of terrific shows lined up. Okay, you need to tell us about these. Of these amazing shows sure. because you have so all we, kinds of big names. We coming. do. We start Wednesday with actually a best of under 30 comedy competition. Nine of the best local comics competing for a spot, which uh, who will win a, a place on our, our final show on the 23rd of March. And also as part of that, they also win a place in our Arctic Comedy Festival. We went out to a comedy festival in Iqaluit and Yellowknife as well. Hmm. Uh, and following that, on the Thursday night, we have a new show, which we just announced yesterday, actually. And this is a YouTube sensation show with our Ottawa's own L. Mills. Hmm. And Al Mills is a huge name, 1.6 million followers. Wow. And uh, we're going to do a show with her, an evening with her. She talks about social media, mental health, and a lot of comedy as well, which she does on her show. That is something. And then Friday, we have our Jay and Dan Live uh, presented uh, with, the, with, with the Student Association. But then our final show, our big show, is our festival finale, which is our Hilarity for Charity show and Candy Awards okay. on Saturday night. So you have to tell us, because I know we have a picture of the late, great John yes. Candy here. Uh, yeah. We just uh, passed the, the, uh, the 25 years. 25 years. Since on he, he left us. Yeah. Wow. So in 2017, we awarded John Candy a Comedy Icon Award, as who we felt was the best Canadian comedian ever of all time. And his son and daughter came, came up for us, uh, Jen and Chris Candy, uh, were part of it. And we loved it so much that we decided, let's create a Candy Award that we can present every year to comedians hmm. and in Canada. So last year we presented to Andrea Martin and Colin Mockery and Patrick McKenna. Uh, this year we're going to be presenting some other comics and some other shows. We're actually presenting a Candy Award to the Beaverton. We're presenting one to Kathy Jones. And we've nominated and put out to present one actually to Seth Rogan, wow. who links to Hilarity for Charity. Okay, all right. Uh, and you, Margo, actually, so, so what's the connection with Seth Rogan? So, Seth Rogan, when he decided to do Hilarity for Charity, which is for Alzheimer's and dementia, he picked Home Instead Senior Care as their care provider of choice. So that's how we got involved in, in the process. And the grant program is available to anyone um, in Canada or North America. Anyone can apply, and there are different grant levels and it's for families with someone with Alzheimer's or dementia. Mm, okay, so, so obviously that grant program, John, is something that's very important. Oh, absolutely. That's one of the reasons why we... Because the Seth Rogen's program combines comedy with mental health, right? And we thought that was significantly important. But the best part of what he does is he does something called the uh, Hilarity for Charity University Challenge. And that's why we're partnered with Algonquin. We'll be raising money for Hilarity for Charity through Algonquin College. If the college raises the most money in North America, they will win a visit by Seth Rogen and mm -hmm. Lauren, his wife next year and that's that our focus to raise, we're trying to raise fifty thousand dollars between now and november the 15th of the 2019 so mm -hmm. that they can win that contest and we can get seth rogan here to have a little fun with them quickly marco how can people get in touch with you if they need your services for home instead uh easiest way is www.homeinsteadottawa.ca okay and because i know it's an important service and i want to make it sure that people know that yeah. it's out there and available um also john just to mention this you've got student pricing you get you've got all kinds of different pricing for different shows we, we do, yes, yes. So we actually have student pricing for all of our shows, like for Elle Mills. You know, students get in for nineteen ninety five to see her live for the first for the first time. Uh, we have discount pricing again at nineteen ninety five for all of the shows. And actually, listeners, if you're out there, uh, you can use the code Adobe A D O B E, and you can get ten percent off on our Saturday night show, the twenty third. They're that's, our presenter for that show. That's mm -hmm. super cool. Well, what's what's the highlight for you? For me, it it's always really is the Candy Awards, right? You know, we love John Candy. I've loved John Candy my entire life. His mm -hmm. family is the most amazing family. I've met his, his son and daughter and his wife, and they are as kind as everyone knows that John Candy was as kind. Mm -hmm. I've never had a comedian where you talk to anybody. I talk to people that work at the hotels here in Ottawa, and when they met him years ago, they treated him like gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's definitely a legend, and uh, this is a legendary festival. Uh, the Alternate Savings Crack-Up Comedy Festival kicking off March 20th. Thank you, John and Margo. Thanks. Thank you, Adele. Thank you.